Now, some members of the Teachers and Educational Workers Union have returned to post after leadership called for the suspension of their industrial action. Ibrahim Abubakar has visited some senior high schools and joins us for details. Ibrahim, thank you for uh, joining us on Midday Live. W what can you report? Well, um, Crosby, I... I confirm that indeed some of them have returned to post, not all of them. Mm. Um, in some of the schools, uh, you are yet to even see the cleaners and the cooks on campus because um, the students have been told to start reporting on Saturdays and talk about a fear for the senior high school. When I went there, um, there was virtually nobody. I called the headmistress and she told me that initially they thought the opening was Saturday. So that's what they communicated to the students. So they will start coming on Saturday so that by Monday, the day students will also come for academic work to begin. But where the, they have started reporting, they've made sure that the cooks are there, the mm -hmm. cleaners are also there. Um, it is at the administration that you realize some of the administrators who are members of TEU uh, have not reported, but they've made sure that the cooks and the cleaners are there so that they will be able to cook something for the students to also start. So um, I can say that um, they've started reporting to work and school authorities are hoping that by Monday, when effective academic work begins, okay. everybody will be at post. Right. So in, in the instance where uh, some members of TIL, individual members, may not be too happy with the directive from the mother organization, how are the head teachers going to deal with such instances? Well, um, for now, like you said, some of the members I spoke to are not too happy with the decision mm -hmm. to sustain the strike because as we speak, their concerns have not been addressed. Right. And we know leadership has given government a two-week ultimatum. They believe that government has taken them for granted for far too long. And mm -hmm. this time around, they were expecting leadership to be on their feet and ensure that government meets their demands before they are asked to report it to me. But now that leadership has taken the position, they have no option than to report to work. For those who have not reported, um, headmasters tell me that they've already called to inform them. Because, for instance, Tia, Sam, Tia Media, yesterday when I went there, the two members were at post, but they came to the headmaster to officially notify him that uh, effective to yesterday, they would not be reporting to work. So he also granted them that permission. So when mm. they left for house and today they've not reported, he tells me that he has also made the official um, call to them to report to work since their leadership has suspended the strike. So uh, like you rightly said, most of them are not too happy with that, but they are heading to the calls of their leadership. At least in two weeks, they are expecting that if government fails to address their concerns, leadership should not hesitate to activate the industrial action. Right. Ibrahim, thank you. Ibrahim Abubakar is a man on the beat bringing us up to speed on the suspension of the table strike. He visited some schools and we just spoke to him.